first started working with Ray on cover crops, one of the more interesting studies that uh, that he did in the weed stubble, and this, boy, this is probably six, seven, eight years ago. Uh, we did one cover crop that had mostly broadleaf plants, and then we did one cover crop that was mostly grasses. And then uh, he pulled uh, tissue samples and sent them to the lab and tested them. And what was really interesting in that is that the broadleaf plants, which typically have more tap roots and are deeper rooted, they had a much higher draw up of calcium. And, and so one of the things that we were looking at, because people always ask, you know, can you use cover crops to help to help raise pH, you know, by bringing some calcium that is maybe, you know, dropped down lower, can you bring that back up to the soil surface? And that was part of what Ray and I were trying to do with that. And, and so what we saw from that is, uh, make sure you have a decent amount anyway of the deeper rooted broadleaf type plants and so in the mix you talked about you know the sunflowers the sap flowers uh, you know they're going to be very deep rooted tap root crops and they're going to be bringing up not only the calcium but the other the other nutrients and especially if they can get down into that berry day horizon you know they can they can start pulling some of that those nutrients back up and cycling it through the system and so that's kind of the cool thing about cover crops. It depends on what you want to do. You can tweak not only the species, but the rooting architectures that you have as well. So again, in that case, if you want more of that calcium brought up to the soil surface, because it puts the calcium into the plants, and then when those plants die and decompose, you know, that calcium is now up at the top. Uh, is it going to raise your pH? Pro probably not, but it might keep it from dropping you know, as fast. And so it, it helps kind of do some of that buffering effect. And so, you know, that's that's the beauty of being able to design a cover crop mix and, you know, going after a specific or a certain goal that you want to do uh, is is by the, the types of plants that you put in there. Uh, they can still all be very grazable. They can still do uh, multiple things, but that's, that's one of the things that, that Ray discovered in doing that is that the broadleaf plants tend to root down deeper and tend to pull up more of those nutrients than, uh, you know, like a sorghum. I think sorghum and millets is basically what he had for the grass component that time of year. Um, they just don't get down as deep and those fibrous root systems don't pull as much of that up as the tap roots did.